Hello everyone, my name is Aaliyah, aka Queen. Um, I'm just going to make a little video about my sunglasses because I have an obsession with them. So I'm just going to go through a bunch of different ones and try to recall where I got majority of them from. But yeah, comment, like, subscribe, stay tuned. Alright, so I have these. These are just some rimless gradient ombre type shades. I uh, wish the lighting was a little bit better, but... Yeah, that's the way I got my phone propped up. But yes, these are from Sunglass Spot. They're probably five or seven dollars, five, six, seven dollars. But these are really cute. Got these not too long ago. Haven't worn them out yet. But I will rate these probably like a nine out of ten. These are cute. We'll see how often I wear them. Alright, so next pair is from Sunglass Spot as well. They're like a replica of the Fenty shades. Um, I have a pair in two colors if I can get them out of the pack. So it's these bad boys right here. They're in lilac. Forgive my nails. I'm in the process of taking them off. So a little ghetto. But these are like the Fenty replicas. They're in lilac and they're from Sunglass Spot as well. I love these. I got a lot of compliments on them. I've worn them before. Definitely a 10 out of 10. And I also have them in another color. I'm going to go ahead and show those as well. But these are from Amazon. And they're a very unique color. They're olive green. And I haven't seen anybody with olive green shades like these. So, got these bad boys. They're so clutch. I haven't worn them out yet. Um, I will rate these a 10 out of 10 as well. But I'm a little mad because... You can't really see it, but it came with a little scratch. But I just didn't complain because it would have been a process to have to take it to a cold to return it and do all that. So I just live with the scratch that nobody really can see. So those are from Amazon. And I have another pair that is from Sunglass Spot. They're cream, like, but they're funny shape. They kind of got like cat eye, but then the bottom is like rectangle square. The arms are really thick and black. I like it. Um, again, sunglass spot. I'll rate these a 9 out of 10. I've worn these before. I wore them to church with a um, cute little outfit. I ain't taking no pictures, though. But this is them. I have two other pair like this that's somewhere in my collection. But that's a whole mess because I have a ton of shades. So, yes, these are cute or whatever. And... Let's see, I have uh, over 100 pair of shades, so there's going to be multiple parts to this video. And I have these bad boys. These are from Sunglass Spot as well. I don't know, I just thought they were really cute. I like the gold detailing, like the arms being gold, the rim at the top, the little size gold. It's giving like superstar Hollywood, don't talk to me type vibe. So I get these a 10 out of 10. And I have not wore them yet. They're kind of on the new side. They recently was purchased. I still have glasses coming. So something's wrong with me. All right. The next pair. Um, it's the pair I wore today with my little kimono. <laughs> little kimono. I once wore these for dinner. So I just came from actually and these are like green but like the lens is pink i don't know if you can see that but the lens is really pink so pretty but yeah these are five i rate these a 10 out of 10 i got these from shein as well as the little kimono i think it's actually a bathing suit cover-up but it's a kimono with my outfit today okay okay so i got these from sunglass spot now, one thing about me is I love a reflective glasses. I love an aviator. I love anything see-through. I love, <laughs> yeah, shades. So, I got these big boys. They're really big. Um, it's given police officer. But at least I'm cute with it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I like the reflectiveness. They're rose gold. I have another pair that's like this, but they're more, like, see-through. So, you can actually see me looking at you versus these. You can't really see they're from Sunglass Spot, and I will rate them a 9 out of 10. They're straight, but they're just really big, and they keep falling off my face. So, these are big, too. 
I guess it's hard to tell the how big they are on a website, but these are from Sunglass Spot. Um, the frame is silver. They're really curved. I don't know if you can see the curve in it, but they're curved. They're big. And they're loose. Like, they keep falling off my face as well. But I'm actually going to buy some, like, new nose pads to go on it so it will hold a little tighter. But these are cute. I like that they're ombre from blue to yellow. I will rate these an 8 out of 10 only because, like I said, they keep falling and they're really big. But other than that, they're okay. Sunglass spot. Let's see. Again, sunglass spot. I've been purchasing them from, from years, like for years. I've been shopping with them, I'll say at least since 2015. And I still have pairs of glasses from 2015 that still held up. So they're pretty clutch with the sturdiness. Um, I can say over time they may have gotten a little, you know, cheaper quality, but back in the day they used to, they used to slap. They had some sturdiness to it. So these are from Sunglass Spot as well. I'll give these a 9 out of 10. Um, I love the ombre purple to pink. I love the studs in them. They're kind of big, but that happens to be the trend with their aviators lately. But these are them. Sunglass Spot, really cute. Haven't had a chance to wear them out and about yet. They'll get their turn. The time is right. Um, yeah, so let's see. Have these from Sunglass Spot. Like I said, between she and the Sunglass Spot, they take all my coin. So I have these bad boys from Sunglass Spot. Got these on sale. They were like $3. And they're like tortoise shell, but they're like the real square, like Matrix movie type glasses. Um, I like that the sides are has a lens as well that they're brown i'll give these a nine out of ten again they're from sunglass spot but they're really cool i have two other pair like i have a black pair and i have the silver pair but these are pretty trendy i've seen them floating around everywhere but i haven't worn these yet i have wore this i wear the hell out of them silver ones so i'm not gonna lie because they look really dope on your face i got these from sunglass spot as well these are a white pair um, they're really thick. Um, what else? They kind of like dent in some, but then they have purple lenses. I like that they're like round, but not like circular, like super, super round. These are really tight on your face, but I will, I haven't wear these out actually, but I would give these a 8.5 out of 10. It's not my favorite. They're okay, but we'll see how often they'll be in rotation. Not often at all, but I got the black pair as well because when i initially purchased these i thought they were really cute but they're not as cute as i wanted them to be on my face but these are the black ones the black ones are a little bit better these can be like an everyday shade but you can also dress them up it gives kind of like brunch vibes or you know somewhere foreign that you haven't been before it's giving rich put it that way like yes bitch rich they're really dark um, actually, they don't look that bad. That's why I said I like the black ones a little bit better. They don't look bad with my hair down, but can't say every style would go good with these. You know, certain styles go with certain shades and outfits, so these you gotta wear your hair down. But I would give these a, a 9 out of 10, only because they look better in the black um, frame. Alright, so now, <laughs> there's more. I want y'all to know how big of an obsession with sunglasses I have. Let me see if I can show you this entire collection. And there's more. That's just some of it. So yeah, let's continue filming. So there's gonna be like five parts to this, just so y'all know. So I have these bad boys. They're brown but they have like they're see-through brown but they the lenses like coming out the side i don't know they're very unique to give me like butterfly effects but then they have cat eye as well very different these are from shein um i haven't worn these out yet but i will rate these a nine out of ten they're really cute um i don't really gravitate towards them like that but i might have to start because they're giving rich auntie rich auntie don't bother me but yeah, them arms is real tight, so at least these will last a little longer. So I definitely need to invest in the repair kit because for me to have all these shades, I should definitely have something to repair them when they get jacked up. All right? 
all right guys i keep looking the wrong way my camera over here so i might look a little cockeyed but i promise i'm not so then i got these bad boys right here with the little rhinestones just the rhinestones that sold me i love anything with rhinestones i love rimless shades like i said i love aviators anything reflective glasses anything see-through that's me that's me um these are ombre they're like pink and blue it's hard to see but they're blue and pink ombre with the little rhinestones and i like the side detailing i'll give these a nine out of ten i have not wore them yet but they're cute or whatever they're just not the first pair that i gravitate towards but these are from shein if i haven't mentioned that already okay so now these are from <clears throat> god dang these are from ross i don't go in no like specific order they're just whatever i grab so these are from ross they're like a matte frame um they kind of like a mustard or they could pull off a khaki color but these are really cute i like that they're cat eye but then they're not like dramatic cat eye um again ross and i will rate these a nine out of ten i guess nine out of ten I lost track of what number I was on, but I've been through a lot of shades so far. I can't remember. And I like to organize or keep my shades in little plastic cases so they won't be on top of each other getting scratched up. So anytime I order like shades from Shein, I keep the plastic or from anywhere I order any color plastic, I keep it just so they won't scratch each other up. Because I take care of my shades. I know they're cheap, but I take care of them so they can last as long as possible because... I enjoy my shades like just because they're cheap you ain't got to treat them like doo-doo you know so then i got these little clouds which i don't know where i'm gonna wear these too but they get festival vibes they're ombre they go from purple to like light blue they got the little clear raindrops these are from shein um again i wouldn't wear these probably with the everyday outfit or nothing it's a given festival um these are uh, eight out of ten I don't like the tickling on my nose, but they're cute and fun, I guess. If you want to be goofy one day, these are the ones to go to. All right, all right, all right. Next pair um, are these little bad boys from Shein. I don't wear them, but they're tortoise shell. Oh, another thing, I love tortoise shell. You're going to see a lot of tortoise shell glasses in here. I think I already showed three. Yeah, so far I showed three, so you're going to see more. So these are from Shein. Um, again, I like these. They're like our everyday glasses. I like the gold little statement on the side. Um, I will give these a 9 out of 10. Um, yeah, they're cute. I like these. I like that they're kind of got purple lenses. I think I need to wear these more often. Kind of forget I have so many other ones to choose from. But one day they'll be in rotation to be worn. But these are from she in and the by the time i find the links to all of these half the ones are old but yeah good luck finding them because trying to find the links for all of these ain't gonna happen because a lot of them are from when she and had um started selling their glasses and then they stopped i don't know what happened but they just randomly stopped selling glasses and then they bought them back so a lot of them are older oh these are really tight um <laughs> on your head so if you got a wide face or round face be mindful if you get the little cat eye with the gold because baby <laughs> squeezing my head so these are cute um they're from shein i will give these a eight out of ten only because they're really tight they're not uncomfortable but they they don't have to snatch my head like they are because they are snatching but I like the, the dark lenses, really, really dark lenses. It's giving rich auntie in Italy or something, like brunch in Italy. I like the gold little arms. Yeah, yeah, they're cat eye. Now, I got a ton of cat eye glasses, but these are one of the trillion pairs I have. Next pair are these little groovy glasses that I'm sure everyone saw plenty of times. I'm sure people have seen these a thousand times. All right, so these black frames, yellow lenses, everybody and their grandma got these. These are very 90 vibes. Um, it's this one picture that Jenna Jackson had them on, and I was like, okay, that's what convinced me to buy them. Even though she's not the only celebrity, but she put them in my cart, basically, to purchase. So 
When I see her wear them, I say yes. Miss Jenna Demita Jo, get in these. So these are cute. They're nine out of 10. I haven't worn them yet, but I have them just in case, you know. A lot of things, I mean, I buy a lot of glasses and don't really go nowhere because I'm a homebody. But when I'm ready to wear them, I have them to wear. So that's my that's my motto. Like, and I'm not spending a lot of money on them either, so I don't feel that bad. But I got hella styles to choose from. You can never say I don't have a pair of shades. So if I walk out the house with a pair of shades, you know something ain't right. Okay? I have way too many not to walk outside with a pair on. So then I got these bad boys from Shein. They're the, I'm sure y'all seen these a thousand times, different colors and everything. But they got the cat eye at the top, very wide. And then it kind of slims down into the square bottom. Very fine. I don't wear them, but they're really cute. I need to start wearing these. Ooh. But again, the tortoise, like I said, I am a freak for tortoise shells. I like these a lot. I need to put these in rotation. These are 10 out of 10. Um, one thing I will say is that the arms, like whatever they use to paint it is very cheap because it feels like if you rub over it, you can pop the little bubble, little bubble paint. I don't know if y'all know what I mean, but these are made cheap. But overall, the frame and the color and stuff is cute. It's 10. I mean, 9 out of 10 or whatever I said. 10 out of 10 I think these now these is giving 90s celebrity movie star like I just picture all the celebrities walking down Hollywood with these black frames blue lenses I mean blue brown lenses it's giving movie star they're really small but they're cute I love the fact that they're black but then brown mmm these are from Shein. I don't wear them, but they are definitely a 9 out of 10. They're tight. So if you do see these, be mindful. They're tight if you have a round head. But again, this was before they had their hiatus of not selling shades and stuff. So it might be hard to find. They may have put some of the same shades, but these I ain't, I ain't seen on here lately. So I probably got rid of them. As we continue, these are from Shein. Y'all need to sponsor me. I keep y'all clothes in my closet and y'all shades on my face, along with sunglass spots. So if y'all looking for some more people to sponsor, <coughs> Queen is <laughs> available. So I have these bad boys. Like these were in my reach my recent order that came not too long ago. But I do have one on the way. So <laughs> So I got these. I've seen them on a lot of people. And I was like, let me go ahead and get them. Not because like I wear Y2K all the time, but when I wanna be in my retro nostalgic Y2K vibes, boom. That's what these are given. It's given construction worker or just the, you know, maybe Paris Hilton, Britney Spears, little Christina Aguilera, you know, those vibes when <laughs> they was popping with their little pop songs and stuff, early 2000. But these are cute. I would give these a 9 out of 10. They're blue lenses and the, and the frame is like a see-through black. That's clutch. I like how they're rounded and they got the curve. You see that? The little curve. Definitely, get, definitely given construction worker. But they're cute though. I like that about them. And the party goes on. So we got these little bad boys right here. These are from Sunglass Spot. And I have a ton of brown shades. I just like how they look on my skin. Brown is in. Um, these are like rimless heart frames. I like that they're not like too detailed of a heart, like too defined. You know, sometimes the hearts on the shape on the frames be ugly. But these are just right. They're brown. Um, I haven't worn them out. They're I'll give these a nine out of ten. Again, sunglass spot. Really cute in just brown with the heart shape. Oop, you know how to clean them off again. Okay, so that's them. Y'all, I'm still going. Y'all seen how many shades I had in this bucket? And then I still got a whole, like, box this big and a whole drawer. Something wrong with me, right? I just really love shades. I can't help it. All right, so I got these bad boys right here. These are, like, upside-down triangle. They're giving, like, Lawrence Fishburne, kind of, like, eye turning. I don't even know they were triangle, but they're giving tiny face, tiny glasses, big face. So, these are them. Oh, the little blind mice. <laughs> One of the two. I mean, the Ike or Blind Mice. Which one? The Rich Auntie. <laughs> but yeah, these are cute. These are from Shein. I got these a while ago. They're just black with gold frames. And now I get these like a 
8 out of 10 because they got my head looking very wide. Like, it's already round, but it just makes it look wider. But, I mean, they cute or whatever. Depends on your outfit. Because if I really wanted to, I can wear these and it'll set the outfit on fire for real. But it all depends on what you wear, girl. And then I got these right here. They're clear. You know, I love mine clear. Um, they got the little silver symbol or something on the side. These from Shein. Um, I love that they're clear frames and then the actual lens is like a light gray or whatever. But these are cute. I give these a ten, uh, 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10. I don't wear these either. But they're cute. And when I'm ready to pull them out, I have them. So, yeah, I like these. Again, Shein. Sponsor me. Okay. Y'all, this is sad. Like, I really have lost my mind purchasing all these glasses and these don't go nowhere be scared to leave the house because it's so crazy this world's so crazy every time you turn around there's something going on like i'm gonna just stay in the house it's always somebody getting shot up road rage incident like it's just always something i ain't got time um besides that <laughs> i have these bad boys now these snatch my soul when i seen them they are from Shein. Go and get them because they are since they bought their glasses back, so they probably still on the website if they're not sold out. Because that's the thing about Shein, they should be show, sold out. So if you see it, baby, add it to your cart and get it because <laughs> you'll look in 10 minutes and their shit will be gone. Okay, so if you see it, purchase. Ain't no second guessing, ain't no thinking about it. Purchase, okay, especially if it's cute and you don't know. I mean, you can always return. Well, these you can't return, you can't return the sunglasses. But if it's some clothes or something that you see you want before it sell out, get it. You can always return it if you don't like how it's fitting. But these right here, they tell a story. Like, they're like see-through white, which is clutch. Again, anything see-through I love. And it has a mirror lens. I said, you know who I am. Snatch. Put them right in my cart. Okay, so they got the mirror lens from Shein. They're 10 out of 10. I have not worn them yet, but baby. <laughs> Ooh, and they got the cat eye. Stop playing, sis. Stop playing. Okay? Not to be played with. And then I all messed around and got the gray pair, which I would really have to scram through here to find it. So when I pull it back up, you'll know. You'll see on me. But, oh, that's the ones you talk about. Yeah, that's the ones. All right. So now, good old Shein. I got these right here. These are old. One of the first second pair I ordered from them they're just some square white lenses I mean white frames with black lenses I don't really like them because they're real real square like I'm not a fan of the big like straight square like if it was a little bit wider it might can get away but just play plain rectangle like this it's giving I don't know it's just giving weird it's giving <laughs> if it had the right outfit maybe but I don't really like these so I'll give them a, a five Hence why I don't wear them, but they just too square for me. So them a five. That's the lowest rating I have so far. But I got some other ones that I'm just like ill to. But they just be in my rotation. You'll see. So I got these bad boys from Shein as well. They're black frames, but they're like rounded, but it's squared at the same time. It's weird how the shape is, but they five. And I like the lens being like a light brown, like khaki. It ain't yellow, but it's like that khaki tan color. Really cute. Um, they're flimsy though. They give cheap. Um, but yeah, these are cute. They, I'll give them an eight out of nine. I'm an eight out of ten. I will just throw this on with a little outfit. Well, now I don't want to do too much. I don't want a full shade, especially like if it's a nighttime gig. Pop them on. You get to go, sis. Again, these are from Shein. And these are from Shein. <laughs> again and these are black frames with purple lenses now these are five I had to get them matter of fact they're on the men side or men's sunglasses that's what they're under but these are definitely unisex but they're so cute i love that they're purple i expected the lens to be a little bit darker but it's straight um yeah these are different you don't really see too many people walk around with the purple lens and then it's like still like giving thelma from scooby-doo frames she ain't have these frames. She had round frames. Anyway, they five <laughs> from Shein. I'll get these at a 9 out of 10. Haven't worn them yet. They actually came in with the last order with those um, construction Y2K glasses. 
So I haven't had a chance to pop these out yet. But maybe when it's time to pop them, it's time to pop. Now we on purple. This just happened to be the next pair of glasses. But these are fuchsia little cat eye. I have all styles. So don't be surprised if I whip out some, I mean, some random shapes like I've been doing. So these are little cat eye slim fuchsia glasses. Giving festival vibe as well. They're from Shein as well. You wear them on the tip of your nose. They have gold frames. Yeah. She's cute. I haven't worn these out yet, but she cute. I'll give these an 8 out of 10. They're really small. I think they're kids' glasses. I mean, let's say a kid's face would definitely fit it without falling down. It squeezes my head, though. These from Shein. I'm sure y'all have seen these all over the internet because I've seen them. Everybody and their grandma got these. But they're like the half top or half rim, whatever you want to call it. Crescent moon. Little black shades. Um, you throw these on. Yeah, these cute or whatever. I like these. They're, um, again, from Shein. I will rate them a... What I want to get these. <laughs> I guess an 8 out of 10. They're, they're straight. I don't reach towards these either. They're just there just in case. And they're really loose. Like, I don't like that they're so flimsy. But that's why I said I got to get me a repair kit because these arms be really loose and flying all over the place. And it's like, wow, what is going on? All right. So I got these little Willy Wonka tortoise shell pair of shades. They were cute or mom, but when I actually picked, saw them in person, I was like, eh, won't be reaching towards these. But these are, oh, they're okay. I think it depends on the outfit that you wear. Like, I got I got an outfit in my head, but I don't actually have the pieces in my closet yet. Yet. Manifesting that outfit. <laughs> but yeah, these are like some Willy Wonka shades. They're from Shein. I like that the arms are really thick and didn't get slim again. Tortoise shell. I'm going to try these on. They're kind of tight. But I would give these an 8 out of 10. They, they're they cute, like I said, but they're not, like, as cute as I was expecting. They're doable. They're doable. With the right outfit, you'll be okay. And I have a pair that's similar to this. I'll compare whenever I find them. Well, they almost look similar, but when you have a ton of tortoise shell pair of glasses, then it's bound to happen, right? All right, so speaking of tortoise shell, let me see if I can find it. All right, so these bad boys that I had, I told you I keep it in the paper, in the brown little tortoise shell. Here's the black ones. The thing about this is I got these from Shein. The auto, the tortoise shell ones came from Sunglass Spot. But these are just as tight. Um, they're all black. They got the little lens on the side or whatever. I feel like Rihanna had wore a similar pair. I mean, I know hers is name brand, of course, but they might've been a little bit thicker, but they were made the same way, like that round lens thing. But she wore them when she was like walking around in the little garage with her little belly out. Yeah. This is kind of in the beginning when we first found out that Riri was having our, our nephew or niece. I think it's a niece, but yeah, these are cute. Like I said, I got them in silver and the silver ones I actually wore a couple of times so i'll write these a eight out of ten they just make me look like i work for the feds like they giving fbi or like some kind of government job <laughs> that's what they give it but it depends on the outfit like i wouldn't these ain't no everyday wearing glasses you gotta really style this outfit like some big ass cargo pants or something <laughs> they don't want to go in but yeah, I wouldn't just throw these on and run into the store because then it's going to look like you go for something. Okay, these don't want to go in the pack. That's fine. Now these, I'm about to end this video because it's getting long. And, but the good thing is that I'm talking while showing because some people like to talk for a whole 30 minutes before they start showing the products. That's not me because I, I can't stand that. I go zooming through their video. So anyway, these are from Shein they're tan but then the lens is brown they're got that they got that little see-through look I wish the arm was thicker I've seen a couple pair like that but then I was like well I'm not gonna buy the same pair twice like I'll get something similar but not the same pair basically anyway these are nine 
out of 10. I wore these a couple times. They're really neutral. They're really cute. Again, from Shein. And I feel like a lot of people own these pair of glasses. And because I don't see them a ton of times. But hey. Now these are both from Shein. As well. These are just some like neon. Little clear transparent glasses. The lens is neon as well. I wore these to the pool. As a matter of fact, I wore this cover up with these glasses and my little striped um, bathing suit. If I can find a picture, I'll try to insert it. But I wore this as a bathing suit outfit last summer. These are really fine. Um, that was actually the only time I wore them. These are good with eye eyelashes too. Like your eyelashes don't get stuck in the actual frame. Which a majority of my glasses, the way I wear them, they don't get stuck in my frames anyway. So anyway, these are like an 8 out of 10. They're cute. See how you talk and show the product? That's that's how you're supposed to do it. You give them information while you show them the product. Not talk for a whole half an hour. Then show it. Because then it makes me not want to click my end video. <laughs> these are cute. These are from Shein. I love the shape of them. I love that they're marble. They are definitely a 10 out of 10. I don't reach towards them because I kind of forgot I have them. But they fi. They really fi. I actually actually reached for them today. I was going to put them on. But then I changed my, my mind. And I changed my outfit. So they didn't look right. So these are cute. From Shein. Uh huh. Uh huh. Get you some. Actually, no. You might not be able to find these because... No, I think I have seen them since they reloaded their little sunglasses or whatever. But they cute. They comfortable. They give bougie vibes. Bougie auntie. Y'all gonna see a lot of pair of rimless shades in here because I like rimless shades too. But these are another pair from Shein. But the one thing about these is that I love is the, the fact that they're like this shade of pink. And then I like that the arms are pink and the little gold circles, the detail, that shit fine. Yes. And it's right in the middle too. So, yes. They just look rich. Like, what? Say what? I'm over here living like Rick Ross with these shades. Well, not really living like Rick Ross, I wish. But because he is living his best life. He don't bother what? A farm, tractor trailer. He got bulls in his backyard. This man is living, okay? I want to be like him when I grow up. All right. So, I got these bad boys from Shein. They're like a medium color gray. They're not like dark, dark gray. But they're really cute. I like how they're thin at the top. And then they kind of get wide on the side. I have a couple pair that's actually shaped like this that I bought. Um, but I like that the frame is matte. I don't know if y'all can see that. But it's matte. I like matte items. From Shein. I don't reach towards these. I have not worn them. And I will give them an 8 out of 10. They're cute, but they're really square, almost like the white ones. But they don't look as bad. Like, the white ones just stand out. And it's like, you're, they're square, they're white. It's just like, eh. But, yeah, that's them. So these bad boys are like the cream ones that I showed y'all from Sunglass Spot. Like these. But these are actually olive green. I have a lot of green shades. I have a lot of shades. Like a lot of repeat colors. Like you'll see how I have so many of the same colors. But these are from Sunglass Spot. The frame is actually matte. When I purchased it, I didn't know it was matte because I probably wouldn't have got them. I don't like this because then the arms are tortoise, but then they're shiny. I don't really like that. But it's okay. I like the olive green because olive green is a really nice color. So these are them. I'll give them a 9 out of 10. But yeah. I don't know how often I reach towards these like that. And then I have another pair like this too that I don't reach towards. So if anything, out of all three, I'll wear these the most because they just go better with everything. I'm going to see if I can find the other ones while I'm talking about them. Probably can't. Yeah, this don't make no sense. Um, I can't find them right now. They'll pop up later in another video. Then I'll fit. All right, but I think this is going to be my last video not last video my last pair of shades so these i was just mentioning these but these are more like the white ones that's more square of course i can't find them now that's more square they don't have like the thin and then get thick or do they i don't know these are more like the white ones versus the gray ones it's hard to tell but when you look at details on shades like i do then you'll know the difference 
Okay, yeah, I really can't find them. I had them, but I can't find the all white ones. But anyway, these burnt orange ones are from Shein. I have not worn them yet. I like the fact that the lens is black. Um, I have an outfit in mind, and I actually have the items. I just haven't worn because I don't go anywhere. But these are them. I'll give them a 9 out of 10. I actually like them on. Like, they don't look as bad, even though they're real square. They don't look too bad. I think it's because they're transparent and the lens is black. Like, it ain't too much going on. All right, I'm going to do a couple more pairs because I'm kind of in the groove to keep going. I don't really feel like stopping since I got them all spread it out. All right. These are from Shein as well. All right, these are a pair of aviators. They have black frames but blue i mean i keep saying blue black frames but brown lenses almost like <laughs> this is sad almost like these bad boys but they got they're more of a aviator shape and they're darker in the lens color and then they got this bar over top they're bigger these are five now it depends on what you wear with but these are nice i like these so this is like the third pair of black brown shades I got. Because I got the little skinny ones too, these. Okay, that's enough of brown black shades. Like, I need to stop. But these are cute. They're uh, um, 9 out of 10. I don't reach towards those either. And if I didn't mention already, they're from Shein. Shein, y'all need to put me on y'all payroll because I wear y'all glasses faithfully. I mean, I'm sure there's other people that do too, but like, y'all literally are like all i have is shein and sunglass fire glasses anyway these are from shein they uh, these are five i don't reach towards them but they're very different um i love the fact that they're see-through they're hot pink they're shaped like all the other ones like the the burnt orange ones the gray ones the white ones the tan ones yeah i got another pair but the difference is that tortoise shell baby that's what sets it off for me. These are 9 out of 10. Again, I don't reach for them. I haven't worn them. But one day, they'll be in rotation. They'll get their turn. Mama will wear you. I promise. All right. So these, again, are from She In. She is in, honey. Now, these bad boys are from She In. Um, now, these are like brown frames. Uh, this arm is real loose like see that i don't like that but brown again you're gonna see a lot of brown in my glass collection but i like that the arms i mean the little pieces on the side fold in it's giving bumblebee i just feel like i look like a bee in these but they're cute um i don't really like the bar going across but these are really different um yeah I like the style so that way like you don't gotta worry about people looking at the side of your eyeball because it's covered that's cute um again from shein i would give these an eight out of ten because the arm came loose on its own like they came loose like that i literally only wore these twice in the way the arm should be stretched off like that or whatever so these are an eight now i got these goofy glasses no and i ain't gonna wear these shits nowhere but i got them actually this was the first pair of sunglasses i purchased from shein i just wanted to buy a pair of sunglasses never wore them but they're so cute but then it's just like girl where are you wearing these to so these are like more like poolside vibes or i can see like people back in the day like some elton john type shades like i can see elton wearing these benny and the jets B -b -b benny these are really cute though they're blue I have a ton of blue pair of glasses. But these are like an 8 out of 10. Machine again. <gasps> Alright, now these are from Amazon. This got a, its own little case. It came in a case like this. Who was the... Oh, Sojo's. I'm sure y'all haven't seen that on Amazon. So this is them. <laughs> these bad boys right here. They are red cat eye rich on tea glasses. Um, I love the fact that they're mirrored lenses. Look at that. Ain't that so far? How you got red with silver mirror lenses? Like, come on. And they cat eye? Like, come on. Yes, these bad boys are from Amazon. Um, I love them. I haven't worn them out, but they have their, their moment. They are coming soon. I promise you. Um, 
yeah, 10 out of 10. I love them. It's the cat eye and the mirror lenses that sold me. On, and then it came with a little, a little cloth too. So you got a cloth case and a cloth inside. They're gonna make sure you keep your glasses clean, okay? So again, that's from Amazon. These are the other pair I was talking about when I showed you all the mirrored. Where y'all at, where y'all at? Oh, these. Okay, so this is, remember the milky white with the mirror frames? This is the gray ones that's marbled, which is so clutch. I love that they're marble. Love the thick band. And they're dark lenses, so you can't see me looking at you. Yeah, bitch, I'm looking. What's up? But, and they got the cat eye, just like the other ones. These are really cute. I feel like I would get more wear out of these than I would with these. But then again, you never know. Both from Chan. They had a hot pink pair like this, but I was just like, nah, I don't wear pink that much to get another hot pair of pink. Even though I got a ton of like light pink pair of glasses, but. Oh, those are rated, these are rated a nine out of 10. Okay, another pair from, oh, Amazon. They're from Van Linker. They come in a cloth case like this. Y'all, I'm really, like, I really be going out and about. What was that noise? Maybe too much going on. It's only people getting murdered out there. Like, why are you hollering? Apartment life. Anyway, these bad boys are navy blue. And they're the replica of the Versace shades. But they're they're navy blue, bro. Like, ain't that fire? Like, you can see the blue better in the front. Then they got, like, purple lenses. I set these bitches off. Um, I wore these a couple times. They're cute. 10 out of 10. I got a couple pair of this. Actually, like, the little replicas of the Versace. Came in a case. Cloth case. And it got its own little wipe. Like I said, they are Van, Kil Van Linkers. Van Linker from Amazon. But I was saying, before I was really interrupted by murder screams, that I can't believe I'm walking around with my nails like this. Like, that's ghetto. Yeah, you know, I, I promise you, I usually don't do this. Like, if I even have one nail off, I'll be ready to glue that shit back on. I can't walk around like this, but I've really been trying to get these nails off, but they won't budge. Like, they are stuck. The same two nails on both hands are stuck. Like... 10 toes down, not coming off. Anyway, back to the important video. These bad boys are from Amazon as well. They're blue. They're see-through. My obsession. They got the little colors. I don't know what color. I can't see what color that is. Oh, gold. Gold little emblem on the side. I like the shape, how it's like squared off at the top. These I give a 9 out of 10. I haven't worn them out yet, but they remind me of like those clear black black my face clear black glasses from Shein, but they're not the same because these got more square at the top they're similar though nine out of ten they're really cute they came in a cloth mat a uh, cloth bag and they came with a little wipe as well yay thanks amazon well thanks my coin because <laughs> shit i bought it all right so another pair of the sunglass spot glasses that i was raving about these are the bright neon green ones um their frame is matte like the olive green pair that i don't really like the matte but it's whatever sides are black these are eight out of ten i just i don't know they just they are right i mean they still gonna get one eventually but they just not a favorite out of the three styles that i i mean the three colorways that i have these are not the favorite by spot eight out of ten all right here's the other pair <laughs> like the black ones through like the tortoise show ones but boom they're in silver these are the ones i actually wear got these from shein 10 out of 10 because they're clear frames number one you already know and they're mirrored lenses boom that's all i need so very futuristic but look how you when you put them on look how they look like you just gotta love them like they so fine like they sexy i don't care what nobody say they sexy but yeah these are 
from Shein, and they are definitely 10 out of 10. Get you some. They on Amazon, too. I've seen them on Amazon. They got more colors on Amazon. They got a black, like the frame is black, and the lens is mirrored. I said, see, y'all trying to take all my coin, but I got way too many glasses that I can replace those with. All right, now these I had a field day with. I wore these last weekend to my niece's birthday party with this, like, tropical color muumu. Like, well, people call them muumus, but it's a, a sundress. <sighs> these bad boys. When I tell you these shit so far, <laughs> girl, you can't tell me nothing. I was really the rich auntie just sitting there like, what's up? Give me a cupcake. The kids open the presents yet? <laughs> yes. You can't see me looking at you. They're reflective. They're rainbow reflective at that. They're not like too dramatic, big, like them flat screen TVs people be wearing on their face. I hate those fucking glasses. I actually have a pair, but I didn't know they was that big. You'll see. These are a 10 out of 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 100. Okay? Hundun. These is just everything. I love them. I love them. And they're from Shein. But I went back on there because my nephew wanted a pair or he really liked them. And I was like, them shit sold out. Just like that. And they were like new, considered new. But them, like the best pair. All right. <laughs> I think these are going to be my last pair. So these bad boys are from Shein as well. But they're striped black and white. Then on the side, they got the little gold V. I don't know who the V for. It ain't Valentino. We know that. But these are really cute. I like that they're like squared cat eye. They're not too big. They're just right. I haven't worn them, but they still are five with the right outfit. These are eight out of ten, I would say. Um, Definitely don't gravitate towards them as much because... It's hard to kind of match stripes unless I really just be like, well, I don't care if I match. I'm just going to put stripes on because I want to wear them. But I haven't gotten that bold yet to just not match with my shades. I have way too many to just throw on some stripes. So I'm going to cut it off here and do a part two and probably a part three and probably a part four. Uh, lost track of how many sunglasses I actually tried on, but... It was a lot, and I still have a lot more to come because I'm not even halfway done with that bin that I showed. So, yeah, there will be a part two with the remaining glasses. And if you guys enjoyed this video, get a little giggle, a little laugh, um, like, comment, and subscribe, and share. Like, plus it's my first video. Like, it's going to be better content coming because eventually I'm going to get into doing, like, my lipstick swatches at the same time, like, getting rid of them because... During the pandemic, I wasn't able to wear my lipstick as much. So I know a lot of them probably like dried out. So it's going to be like an unclutter, but also showing like swatches. Get into it. I'm going to do it. So thanks guys for watching my first video. Hope you enjoy some of the shades. And if you have any questions, definitely drop them in the comment box and I'll respond. Um, hope you guys enjoy part one. And again, part two, three, and however many more parts are coming because I keep buying shades. So, the shade galore queen. All right, thanks, guys.